They're off. Good beginning for Major General. So to Roger McQueen toward the inside. Stellar Tap is up close. Magnolia Midnight is there. Husband Material very wide into that first turn. The race is on early. Roger McQueen toward the inside. Magnolia Midnight in between. Stellar Tap is three wide. Husband Material racing up to be four wide. Tough to tame is very keyed up fifth and toward the rail. Major General asked to pick it up just a bit from sixth. Strike Hard is racing seventh. Guntown eighth by two. Then it's Red Knob second to last. Bourbon Heist settles in at the back of the pack. The opening quarter goes in 23. And four fifth seconds down the back stretch run they go. Magnolia Midnight with a short lead with five furlongs remaining. Roger McQueen is keeping pace toward the inside in second. Stellar Tap is poised to the outside third. Just two lengths off the leaders. Tough to tame his fourth and down toward the rail. Major General's racing up into fifth. Guntown with a move toward the inside, sneaking up to within three lengths of the lead. Husband Materials right there in the thick of it. Strike card farther back with Red Knobs. Bourbon Heist is the trailer. So round the far turn, Roger McQueen comes back on the inside. Magnolia Midnight is there. And here comes Stellar Tap with a three wide bid. American General with a four wide sweep. Tough to tame switches outside for the final quarter mile. Farther back, it's Guntown. At the top of the stretch, Major General rests a short lead away from Stellar Tap, who's in tight down toward the rail and tries to fight on Stellar Tap. And Major General head to head, shoulder to shoulder. Tough to tame, third and closing in. Bourbon Heist is rolling down the center of the Churchill Downs. Red Dobbs is there as well. 16th to go. Major General trying to fend off an oncoming tough to tame. Major General digs down deep. Tough to tame surges. Here's the wire, it's gonna be close. Major General got it. Major General with a huge wide effort throughout. Nails it on the wire. Tough to tame with second. Red Knobs and Bourbon Heist. And they're off in the American Pharaoh. Joker boys stumbled pretty badly. Corniche comes out smoothly. Rockefeller right up alongside and flying drummer. The Baffert Trio, one, two, three into the first turn with Papa Cap three wide and going after them. Joker Boy is next, followed by Phineas, and Obiak Class has six lengths to make up. Mike Smith has heavily favored Corniche in control early. Opens up a length and a half on Rockefeller in second. Then Papa Cap, flying drummer, tucked in at the rail in fourth, about two and a half lengths off the speed. Joker Boy is next, followed by Phineas, and another four to an unhurried Obiak class. Past the five-eighths they go, chasing Corniche. Cruising along by a length and a half to Rockefeller. Papa Cap in third. Flying Drummer has lost just a touch of ground. He's four lengths off his stablemate. Then comes Joker Boy, Phineas, and still a good distance to Obiak class. Coming to the three-eighths, Corniche, three-quarters of a length. Rockefeller trying to move in from second. Two more to Papa Cap, who's been third. Phineas running a good race on the outside of Flying Drummer, taking fourth. Another two and a half back to Joker Boy and Oviat Class. Past the quarter pole and turning for home. Corniche trying to fend off Rockefeller, and he's done it. Corniche turns for home, full of run, opens up three. Papa Cap now takes up the chase into second, trying to close in on Corniche. Coming to the 16th, and it's Corniche breezing through the stretch. He's the real deal. Corniche takes him coast to coast in the American Pharaoh. Wins it by three. Papa Cap second. Obiak Class, who was far behind, rallied for third. Rockefeller fourth. And they're off in the 150th running of the Champagne Stacks. Number one with was off a step slow. It is Gunite who's going out for the early lead, and Kavod is right there in second. Jack Christopher is running in third. And then it is my prankster who's in between horses. On the outside is Command Performance, and it's three lengths back to Witt, who trails the field in six as they move up the Belmont backstretch. And it is Gunite, the leader here, by a length and a half. Jack Christopher is second by a half length, with long shot Kavod down on the inside in third through a quarter in 23 and two fifth seconds. My prankster is racing in fourth and then it is the gray maiden command performance running in fifth and with continues the trail with a half mile to the finish now and it is gunite the leader here by a length jack christopher in second the half one in 46 and two fifth seconds the front two have now gotten clear by a half dozen lengths of the rest of the field down on the inside is kabod 
And then comes my prankster, Command Performance Extreme outside, and with, there goes Jack Christopher, now to take over the lead as the field comes from the top of the stretch. Gunite is back running in second. Command Performance has now moved into third. It is Jack Christopher with the lead in the stretch. Three quarters up in 111. Jack Christopher is putting in a big effort here in the Champagne Stakes. Command Performance is now moving into second. It is Jack Christopher in front by four. Jack Christopher stretches out, steps up, and puts in a grade one effort to win the Champagne. Command Performance was second, and Witt came on for the... And they're off for the Claiborne Breeders' Futurity. There goes Great Escape from Between Horses. Classic Causeway fires out. Mr. Boma there down toward the inside with early speed. Don't wait up and Sealed Beach and Stellar Death also up close in the opening strides, but Classic Causeway moves by for the lead. Classic Causeway gets to the rail, leads it by a length. Stellar Tap goes second around the first turn. Mr. Boma third toward the inside by just a length. Don't wait up is fourth. Sealed Beach is in fifth. Great Escape is sixth. Max Time is seventh. Rattle and roll toward the center of the pack. Down toward the inside is eighth. Kevin's Folly is ninth. Double Thunder is 10th. King Curlin travels in 11th. Costa Terra is a wide 12th. American Sanctuary 13th and last after an opening quarter in 22.81 seconds. Classic Causeway, the leader. Classic Causeway on top by a length and a half. Stellar Tap stalking the pace from second by a length. Mr. Boma third toward the inside by three quarters of a length. Don't wait up fourth on the outside of Seal Beach. Then Great Escape who travels toward the far outside is starting to move now. Great Escape is going to be four wide to the far turn trying to move up from fifth. 46.74 seconds for the opening half mile. Classic Causeway the leader by a length. Here's Stellar Tap now taking aim midway on the far turn as that pair works their way toward the quarter pole. Great Escape is racing along in third. Double Thunders caught in some traffic about six lengths off the leaders. Rattle and roll, and Rattle and roll is moving wide off the turn. Rattle and roll, top of the short stretch to challenge. Classic Causeway, Stellar Tap third. Double Thunder is fourth, and still five lengths from the lead. Rattle and roll into the final furlong of the Claiborne Breeders Futurity. Rattle and roll, the advantage out to three lengths now. Double Thunder, Classic Causeway, then American Sanctuary. No catching. Rattle and roll, Brian Hernandez Jr. to win it by five lengths on the line. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Cordish had a very good start from that far outside post, and he will go to the front with stablemate Barossa, and then Papa Cap on the inside. They're being followed in between horses by Pinehurst as they make their way into that first turn. The man performance is very wide there, caught four wide into that turn. And then it's giant game, tough to tame, a five-length gap back to Double Thunder, who races just to the outside of Oviat Class, who's down toward the rail. At the back of the pack are American Sanctuary and Japan's Jasper Gray. So the opening quarter mile was 23.03 seconds, and Corniche is able to make the lead from that far outside post, and he's in front by a length, with Pinehurst running along in second position. Then command performance in third, Papa Cap comes through an opening on the inside. Then Barossa. Giant game has four lengths to make up as they continue their journey up the back stretch through a 46.15 half mile. The pace is hot, and then it's tough to tame. Followed by Jasper Gray, who's about eight lengths off the lead. Double Thunder is next. American Sanctuary and Oviat Class. Corniche heads for the far turn in front. He's got a two length lead on command performance. Pinehurst is in between horses. Papa Cap is down at the rail. Giant game is sent up four wide midway on the far turn. After that, it's Double Thunder and Barossa. Corniche coming to the top of the stretch with the lead in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. A giant game is closing on the outside. Now moving up right alongside of Corniche as they come to the final furlong. Corniche with something left. Giant game off the rail. Papa Cap trying to split those two, but it's Corniche. He's just too good. Corniche wins the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. And then it was Papa Cap in second. Giant game was third. Combat performance fourth. Corniche does it for Bob Baffert, the fifth time that Baffert has won the juvenile. And they're off. Ben Diesel with a good beginning. Classic Causeway comes out running. Howling time is there. White Abario showing speed as well. Into the clubhouse turn and howling time. Comes on through to take the lead. Goes a little bit wide into that turn. Footing Ben Diesel. Two or three paths farther out. White DeBario settles in to be third. Classic Causeway is going to rate today. Settles into fourth. 
Smile Happy comes away in fifth. Vivar reserved at the inside. Six. Ready Pursuit is running in seventh. Call Me Midnight. Three or four wide. While eighth. Texas Red Hot right there in the thick of it at the back of the pack in ninth. Guntown buried at the rail. Tenth. Five lengths back to Red Knobs, the trailer. Down the back stretch they go. The opening quarter goes in 23 and four fifth seconds, and it's howling time taking the field along, leading by a length. Ben Diesel's prompting on the outside second. White DeBario with a coveted spot toward the inside, covered up while third. Classic Causeways making progress now. Comes on to be four, three or four wide. Farther out to Smile Happy Racing in fifth. Divar's right there, two sixth, only four lengths off the lead. Call Me Midnight's launching a wide rally with a wide trip there. Guntown's under pressure. Texas Red Hot ready pursuit and Red Knobs round the far turn. Howling time, feeling the pressure now. Ben Diesel comes on two wide. Classic Causeway comes on three wide. Smile Happy comes on four wide. Right in behind is White DeBario begging for racing room. Vivar's trying to catch up two with Call Me Midnight. There's one for long to go. Smile Happy strikes the front of the eighth pole. Smile Happy comes away with the lead. Classic Causeway tries to go with him. Ben Diesel gives it up late. White DeBario howling time. But Smile Happy has kicked it into high gear. And Smile Happy with a powerful performance wins by two and a half. Classic Causeway settles for second. White DeBario was third. And they're off in the Remsen from another mother is going out for the early lead. Mo Donegal is down at the rail. Hoo hoo, that's me. And on the outside, it is a midnight a chrome along with a Zandon. The two-year-old Colts go into the clubhouse turn from another mother. Is challenged here by Midnight Chrome. From another mother holding on to the lead by three-quarters of a length. Midnight Chrome runs in second. Sandin on the outside runs in third. Modonical is down at the rail next in fourth. Hoo-hoo, that's me next in fifth. Mr. Jefferson is sixth. It's three lengths. Two with Judge Davis and three more to Eloquist, who trails the field in eighth in the opening quarter mile, 25 seconds. From another mother leads here by a half length. Midnight Chrome in second. Sandin is next in third with Mo Donegal down at the rail. Then it is Mr. Jefferson and Hoo Hoo, that's me. As they race midway up the back stretch from another mother, three quarters of a length. Half mile posted in 51 and two. From another mother is the leader. Midnight Chrome is next in second. Mo Donegal and Sandin, the two favorites, are right together, third and fourth. Then Mr. Jefferson and Hoo Hoo, that's me. Farther back, Judge Davis. And the trailer is Eloquist as the field goes around the far turn. From another mother narrowly, Midnight Chrome now moves right alongside. It is Midnight Chrome on the outside from another mother down at the rail. Now Zandon begins to pick it up. Far outside, it's Mr. Jefferson. Mo Donegal is in behind horses. Then Hoo Hoo, that's me and Judge Davis. The field is at the top of the stretch. Here's Mr. Jefferson. Here's Zandon. On the extreme outside is Mo Donegal, who's coming on now. Here is Mo Donegal to take the lead from Zandon inside the eighth pole. Zandon battles on. Mo Donegal on the outside. It's Mo Donegal and Zandon. They are heads apart as they come on for the finish, and it's going to be tight here in the Remsen. And it's a photo finish. Mo Donegal and Zandon. They were noses apart on the wire. Racing. The Rossa begins sweetly. Messier comes away cleanly. They've all begun okay. Durante and Olympic legend showing good dash from the inside. Gutierrez drags slow down Andy back across heels and guides that horse toward the rail. He's getting up on the inside of Barossa. They're now a joint fourth. Out of the stretch, seven eighths to go. And Olympic legend hugging the rail leads from Durante by half a length. Another half length to Messier, three wide. A length and a half, Barossa covering slow down Andy, and they do all slow down, three quarters of a mile to run, the pace slackening noticeably into the back stretch, and Messier goes up three wide, and shares the lead with Olympic Legend, and Durante is a half length back between them, Pratt staying very wide on the track aboard Messier as they approach the right hand dog leg. Barossa in the blue and gold is two and a half lengths off the lead and slow down Andy is towards his inside. They reach the half mile pole covered by just over three lengths. Olympic legend in front narrowly from Durante and Messier with a length and a half. Barossa slow down Andy circling past the three eighths pole into the far turn and Durante and Messier have gone on with it together. Slow down, Andy staking his claim three wide. Barossa being stoked up four wide. An Olympic legend has given way. Four abreast as they swing for home. It's Messier. Slow down, Andy. Barossa dropping off. So is Durante on the inside. And slow down, Andy's gone to a narrow lead.
Messier is skating on thin ice. They're getting very tight. They've brushed there. Messier's fighting back on the inside, regaining a narrow lead from Slow Down Andy. The lead seesawing a 16th to go. Slow Down Andy has his neck in front again. Slow Down Andy's pulling away. Slow Down Andy has won the low salvaturity over Messier. Six lanes clear of Barossa and Durante. In the springboard mile, rough beginning for Bye Bye Bobby, but he comes from behind in his first race anyway. We'll see if he repeats it here tonight. Classic moment away sharply. Concept right there. Rodney Rascal third into the first turn. To the outside, Osborne fourth. Now moving up into a pocket inside. That is make it big. Bye Bye Bobby begins to move, splitting rivals, and takes over third as they head towards the back stretch. Revenir very close as well. All seven within five links of each other as they reach the back stretch. Six furlongs to go, and Bye Bye Bobby puts a nose on the lead outside. A classic moment after an opening quarter mile in 24.77 seconds. On the back stretch, it's Bye Bye Bobby there by half length. Classic moment is second. Concept tracks along third, just a length back. Osborne is fourth. Make it big is fifth, three off of it. A gap of two more then to Roddy Rascal and Revenir of the trailer. Half mile to go now, and Bye Bye Bobby shows the way with Concept right there. Concept inside, classic moment backing up, Osborne in third, and now Make It Big swings out for run, fourth and gaining as they go to the turn. It's Bye Bye Bobby nose to nose with Concept, Make It Big to the outside, sweeping up along with Osborne, these four pulling clear now, Roddy Rascal's in fifth, four links back, it's Bye Bye Bobby checks out. Approaching the quarter pole, inside to Concept, Osborne outside Make It Big, and coming on is Roddy Rascal, the Oklahoma Red, fourth and gaining. Quarter mile to go in the springboard mile, top of the stretch, race on, Osborne has a nose up front. It's Osborne and Make It Big now, putting Concept away to the inside. Furlong to go, Make It Big and Osborne, they'll duke it out. It's Make It Big outside, Osborne to the inside, nose to nose, every step, a battle of the final furlong, and Make It Big reaches down for more. Make It Big will stand defeated to win the springboard by a half length over a hard fighting Osborne. Concept was third, classic moment fourth. And they're off in the first running of the Gunrunner Stakes. And there's Surfer Dude, who strikes out for Raylou Gutierrez. Epicenter in the maroon silks with a white cap right there at the leader's heels. As Surfer Dude leads Epicenter into the clubhouse turn. Wait a minute, Hayes, and Rocket Dog needs to settle. Rocket Dog ranked toward the inside, tossing his head about there for Florent Giroux. Wait a minute, Hayes, now in fourth as these two-year-olds go to the back of the track. Then it's Kevin's Folly in fifth. Tejano twist over toward the rail, running in sixth. And then Long Odds, Rich Strike, has dropped back to last. The opening quarter in 24.41 seconds at the five and a half. And it's at the inside, Surfer Dude and Epicenter. Makes a move now for Brian Hernandez Jr. Epicenter confronts Surfer Dude. And these two together heading toward the half mile pole with Rocket Dog buying in third. Wait a minute, Hayes is fourth. Tejano twist saving gallon has those white blinkers outside that. It's uh, Kevin's Folly as they go toward the far turn. The trailer remains Rich Strike. Half mile up in 47.76 seconds. They round the far turn. The dude's back in front. Surfer dude narrowly from Epicenter. And these two come toward the top of the stretch. Neck and neck. Epicenter and Surfer dude as they take this tussle toward the quarter pole. With Tejano Twist looking to draw in now for Joe Rocco Jr. It's Epicenter and Surfer dude as they straight it for home. Three quarters, one minute 12.57 seconds. And Epicenter has the advantage now over Surfer dude as Tejano Twist comes charging on the outside into this final fairgrounds furlong. Kevin Follies fourth as they come past the 16th with Brian Hernandez Jr. It's Epicenter, and Epicenter will be a good looking winner of the Gunrunner Stakes. Epicenter wins by six. Tejano Twist was second. Surfer Dude stayed on to run third, and Kevin's Folly finished fourth. They're off. Good start. All in sync, Ben Diesel in the center, and Homebrew shows speed. Navarre and Ruggs are on the move as well. All in sync will set the pace at the rail, but Ruggs is between horses, and Ben Diesel is only in the two-and-a-half path early. Homebrew is shuffled back. He is passed in the center by Kavad, who takes over in fourth. Then comes Dash Attack at the rail to the outside and Cool Papa G. Another two lengths further back to Bureau, and towards the back of the pack is all is... Kairama as they turn up the backstretch in the 15th Smarty Jones. Ben Diesel has the lead from Ruggs and these two go right along and go quickly. Ruggs is inside. Ben Diesel is outside. They are three lengths clear of Kavad. 
All in sync is fourth at the rail and two and a half lengths in front of Homebrew, who's at the rail. Homebrew right now is fifth with about five lengths to make up. Then comes Barber Road. Dash Attack has six to close. Two and a half to Kai Rama. Then comes a length and a half back to Bureau, and they round the far turn in the Smarty Jones, and Ben Diesel has the lead. Kabad is about to race up three wide, and here comes Kabad to try for the lead. Rubs is still right there at the rail. All in sync is moving up, and we have a new leader at the top of the stretch. It is Kabad, and he leads by a length. Ben Diesel is second. All in sync is third. Barber Road to the outside in Vivar. Many chances. Final furlong. Kavad has the lead. Here comes Dash Attack in the center of the racetrack. And Dash Attack is going to roll by. And now he's three in front of Kavad and Barber Road. Dash Attack to win the Smarty Jones. Dash Attack beat Barber Road. Close for third. Maybe Kavad. And they're off in the 152nd running of the Jerome. From the inside, Cook Creek. There goes Hagler from the extreme outside. It is Hagler and then Cook Creek as the field races up the chute and heads for the back stretch. It is Hagler in front with Cook Creek and then 02035, followed by Cavoisier along with Rumble Strip Ron at the back are Mr. Jefferson, Smarten Up, and Unbridled Bomber. It is Hagler who has the lead. Cavoisier's on the outside in second. Cook Creek just off them in third. The quarter in the slop in 22 and 4 fifth seconds. So it is Hagler and Cavoisier, and the two of them are right together. They've got three lengths on Cook Creek, who runs in third. 02035 is advancing on the outside in fourth. And farther back, it is Mr. Jefferson, unbridled bomber. The half went in 45 and three-fifths seconds. It is Hagler with the lead over Covassier. They remain 1-2. Cook Creek is being asked for more in third. Unbridled bomber is gaining ground down at the rail in fourth. Then 0-2-0-3-5. And now the field is coming into the stretch. And it is Hagler and Cook Creek on the outside. Unbridled Bomber is down at the rail. Cavoisier is there. Here's Cavoisier now to take the lead. Cook Creek on the outside in second. It is Cavoisier with the lead as they come down for the finish. On the outside, smarten up. Cavoisier in the fog and over the slop to win the Jerome. Cavoisier over smarten up and then Cook Creek in third. The time was 138 and four. They're off in the sham stakes. New Grange and Rockefeller break together as one. New Grange a little quicker now. Rockefeller second. Degree of risk moves up on the outside. They're followed by McKinnon and Oviat class. It's a compact field moving at a leisurely tempo. New Grange has it by a half length. Rockefeller followed by degree of risk. McKinnon under a hold at the rail. Oviat class right next to him. Three lengths covers them. Onto the back stretch they go. John Velasquez has slowed things right down with New Grange. Has it three parts of a length to Rockefeller second. Degree of risk in the clear while third. McKinnon still eager in fourth. And Oviat class, three and a half off front running New Grange, who cruises down the back stretch in front by about a half length now to Rockefeller in degree of risk. McKinnon has ridden the rail throughout. Two lengths off the pacemaker and then Oviat class. No change in the running order. They head to the 3 8 pole, and Newgrange lets it out a notch, strides away a length and a half over Rockefeller, who's called on now. McKinnon takes third, degree of risk is fourth. Oviat class is pushed along. Newgrange doing it very nicely with a quarter of a mile to go. Still has it a length and a half to Rockefeller. McKinnon swings out for the drive. They're at the top of the stretch, and Newgrange still loaded at the eighth pole. Builds up a two and a half length lead. Rockefeller can't keep up with his stable mate. They're followed by McKinnon and Obiak class. A big step forward in start two for Newgrange, who makes every pole a winning one in the sham stakes. Wins it by three and a half. Photo for second. Rockefeller, Obiak class, then McKinnon. And they're off. And they have a comp stakes of 2022. And Surfer Dudes brings right into action. 
charging on the outside is Blue Kentucky, and Epicenter is right there in between horses as they charge into the clubhouse turn. Surfer Dude against the rail. Epicenter is pressing forward, and Blue Kentucky is caught three wide. Trafalgar is in fourth upon settling, just inside seven furlongs to run. Joe Bravo and Papa Cap in the green cap with the rail. Cyberknife is three wide as they go to the back of the track, and then comes a settled unified report. Call Me Midnight is running second to last, and Presidential trails in ninth. The opening quarter in 23.40 seconds with Joel Rosario. Epicenter has the speed to lead. It's Epicenter, tracked by Surfer Dude, and Blue Kentucky is posted wide. Papa Cap making progress toward the rail. Trafalgar is in fifth as they head toward the half mile, and Cyberknife is sixth on the far outside. Some five lengths off the leader as they go toward the far turn. Epicenter continues out in front, then Unified Report. Call Me Midnight leads one. That's Presidential, who remains last. The half mile for Epicenter, 47.01 seconds. It's Epicenter's lead at the two and a half from Surfer Dude. Toward the inside here is Papa Cap, and Papa Cap now starts a bid. Blue Kentucky is wide. Trafalgar, Call Me Midnight, Unified Report, Presidential last. They're into the stretch. Three quarters in one minute twelve point sixteen seconds. They're coming down toward the final furlong in the Lecomte, and it's Epicenter tackled up the inside by Trafalgar as they come in. Papa Cap is toward the inside. Trafalgar's now third. Late bid by Call Me Midnight, who's charging hard on the outside. It's Epicenter. Papa Cap the rail, and here's Call Me Midnight on the outside. Photo finish in the Lecomte. Call Me Midnight with a rally hits it with Epicenter. Papa Cap. Finish third. Ah, perfect start. New Grange and Classic Moment show speed. Cavada and Ben Diesel at the rail. Osborne going to take back, and so did Ben Diesel as John Court takes a hold. Jamal, call me Jamal, is next. Then to the outside and don't cross the devil. Dash attack is midfield. Costa Terran and Ignitus, then Barber Road. And the early trailer is Vivar. To the back stretch and Kavad is the leader from Classic Moment in second. Kavad, three quarters of a length. Classic Moment is second by a length and a half to New Grange, who sits third for John Velasquez and eyes the front runners. A three and a half length margin, back two. To the outside, don't cross the devil. Osborne between horses and Ben Diesel at the rail. Here's Ben Diesel to take fourth and four from the front. Three and a half more back to Ignitus, Barber Road, Call Me, Jamal, and Costa Terra. They're all about nine off the lead. Vivar is still the trailer a half mile to go in the 57th Southwest, and Kavad is the leader, three furlongs from the money. He's a length in front of Classic Moment in second. New Grange is asked to go after the front runners now. Ben Diesel stays at the rail. Osborne is between horses. Dash Attack has five lengths to make up. They run towards the top of the stretch. Here's Classic Moment outside of Kavad. Kavad is still ahead in front. Classic moment. New Grange and Ben Diesel in striking position if they're good enough. Top of the stretch. Kavad leaves the rail open if Ben Diesel is good enough to go through. Classic moment is there. Then comes Osborne and New Grange. Kavad is still there. Kavad leaves. Drifts it out just a bit. Ben Diesel is trying to move through from the inside. And New Grange to the outside in Barber Road. New Grange has now taken the lead. Barber Road and Ben Diesel. New Grange, Barber Road. New Grange in front. The 57th Southwest goes to Newgrange. He beat Barber Road and Ben Diesel. Kavad, finish fourth. Racing in the Holy Bull, and simplification was off slow. From the rail, Galt comes out firing. The gray white of Barrio working over from the high draw. They land 1-2 from Cajun's Magic, who's down at the inside, while third up on the outside, Giant Game striding forward into fourth ahead of race favorite Mo Donegal. Then back mid-flight for Tiz the Bomb. He's three wide at this stage. Outside of him in simplification who blew the start. Second last is Eloquist, and the trailer is Spin Wheel. Field separated by eight lengths as they complete an opening quarter behind Galt, who settled in up front. He leads three parts of a length. White Abario flanks him and races from second. Two and a half clear of Giant Game, who's now up into third. At the rail, Cajun's Magic is there. Fourth is Mo Donegal angles to the clear. Tis the Bomb is in the clear already outside of him in simplification. Eloquist is toward the rail and still held up at the back. Is spin wheeled. The quarter time was 23 and four. They race to the half mile point. It's still Galt in front. He leads a half a length after a 47 and one half mile. 
From the outside, White of Barrios had a good trip. He's racing in second. Cajun's Magic is together with Giant Game third and fourth. Up to the outside, Simplification has Mo Donegal bottled up. Three back to Spin Wheel, who gets started outside of Tis the Bomb. Eloquist drops the last as they round the far turn. They race to the first finish line here with White of Barrio now even with Galt at the 5 16th. From the outside, Simplification is next. Giant Game not firing his fastball today. Mo Donegal's going to need to do a ton better than that. He's warming to the task, but he's six lengths off the lead, and that lead is held by White of Barrio. Off the turn on the stretch drive, White of Barrio working with the short stretch. He's three on top. Simplification is running a huge race. He's up on the outside trying to get into second, but the Holy Bull goes to White of Barrio with authority. He wins by five in the end. Close then for second. Mo Donegal or simplification. Galt is fourth, and Cajun's magic to complete your high five. And they're off. And early voting is sent right out for the early lead. Constitution Lawyer down at the rail. And Cavoisier is alongside. And then comes Grantham, who is racing in fourth. Mr. Jefferson's next in fifth. Cook Creek on the extreme outside is running in sixth. And then Unbridled Bomber next in seventh, followed by Gilded Age in eighth. Smarten Up is down on the inside in ninth, followed by No Need to Worry and Un Aho. The 11 three-year-olds are heading for the Aqueduct backstretch. And it is the favorite, early voting, who leads here by a length and a half. Kerboisier is in second, the opening quarter mile in 23 and two-fifth seconds. Constitution Lawyer sits in third, about four and a half lengths off the lead. Then it's another two and a half to Grantham, who's running in fourth. Unbridled Bombers down on the inside in fifth. Then comes Cook Creek and Mr. Jefferson, a five-length gap, back to a gilded age. Half mile in 48 seconds. Early voting, setting the pace here and leading by a little more than two lengths. Kerboisier remains in second as the field now heads for the far turn. Early voting moves up by three lengths now. Kerboisier is next in second. Grantham is on the extreme outside and gaining some ground from third. Then Mr. Jefferson, followed by Unbridled Bomber, who is dropping back. Cook Creek, Gilded Age now makes his move on the extreme outside. But early voting has now built a six-length lead. Ran three quarters in 114 and one. Grantham moving into second. Gilded Age is on the outside. It is early voting with the lead in the stretch. Early voting in front now by eight lengths. Gilded Age on the outside takes second, and Grantham is next in third. It is Early Voting, who is isolated here. A late move here from Gilded Age, Grantham, and towards the inside, Unoho. It is Early Voting, who was on top right from the start, and Early Voting wins the Withers, liar to liar. Big long shot, Unoho got up for second. Gilded Age was third. And they're off in the Robert B. Lewis. Sir London bobbled slightly, but goes out to battle for the lead. Cabo Spirit has speed, and Messier just inside of them. Then it's Wharton, and Happy Jack is at the back of the field. Into the first turn they go, and Messier flashes that zip and takes the lead. Sir London is about a neck back second, and a three wide Cabo Spirit keeps those two company in third. Wharton is fourth, three lengths off the pace, Happy Jack settles at the back of the field. They move on to the backstretch, and it's the favorite Messier leading it by a neck. Sir London between horses, and Cabo Spirit continues a three-wide journey. Now it's about four lengths back to Wharton past the 5 8 pole, and Happy Jack is inside of him. The Robert B. Lewis stakes field passes the half-mile pole, still three of them across the track. It's Messier at the rail, now starting to try and shake loose. He's put three quarters of a length on Cabo Spirit. Sir London has lost some ground. Now two lengths behind Messier. Still a big gap. At least five lengths more back to Wharton. And Happy Jack inside of him. They have a quarter of a mile to run. And Messier is in command. Cabo Spirit a length and a half behind. And the others are well back as Messier turns it on at the top of the stretch. And he is making his mark on the three-year-old crop. It's Messier putting on a dazzling display, opening up by 10, by 12. Messier all alone in the Robert B. Lewis stakes. Cabo Spirit was clearly second. Wharton checked in third. Running time, 142.89 seconds. Uh, in the red, Los Del Sam Davis, yes, classic Cosway. 
sorprendiendo, tomando la delantera, pero viene a ser confrontado rápidamente por el número 13, el Little Vic. Entre ejemplares apretado un poco, trademark en el cuarto lugar. Estamos viendo a Make It Big, el, uno de los invictos en la carrera. Giró por tercer carril la primera curva. Por dentro se acomoda Mr. Run Runner. Luego vemos a Golden Glider, el número 4, acompañado del ejemplar Volcanic, en un tren que se parece bastante rápido de competencia. Y así lo es, 22-3, los primeros 400 metros cuando entraron en la recta de enfrente. Little Vic poniendo muchísima presión al favorito Classic Cosway. Tercero, Make It Big por el lado exterior de la pista, tratando de mantener su invicto. En el cuarto lugar vemos por dentro a Mr. Rob Rodder entre caballo trademark. A cuatro cuerpos vemos muy bien colocado a Volcanic por fuera, acompañado del invicto Golden Glazer. En el juego vemos a Ship Sational, el ganador clásico de Nueva York. Eh, después trata de acercarse pegado a la baranda interior a un predictable bay. En el último lugar está corriendo el ganador clásico en Canadá, el ejemplar God of Love. Cuando pasaron los 600 finales, pasaron 800 en 46-3 y sigue la dura lucha entre Little Vic y Classic Cosway, pidiéndole ya el resto a Make It Big no avanza, mientras tanto entre caballos trata de pasar trade bar, por fuera vemos a Volcanic desde el fondo trata de rematar el número 4 Golden Glider están girando la última curva del Sam F. Davis, grado 3 en Tampa Bay Downs, la lucha es intensa, se mantiene al frente el favorito Classic Cosway Little Big en el segundo, el tercero Mr. Rob Running, para el cuarto lugar atropella en estos momentos Ship Sensational y también está tratando de acercarse el caballo Volcanic, pero cuando faltan 100 metros, otra victoria para Irán Ortiz Jr. en el Sam F. Davis del 2022 les ganó de punta a punta Classic Cosway derrochando clase el hijo de Giants Cosway con unos parciales verdaderamente exigentes 22-3, 46-3, para terminar en 1 42 4 la... And uh, we're off in the El Camino Real Derby of 2022, and McKinnon, the favorite, got squeezed coming out of the gate, and he's towards the back of the pack, McKinnon, now making up some ground to run in midfield, McKinnon on the inside. In the meantime, it's Nuestro and Grito, the 99-1 shot who leads the El Camino Real Derby parade towards the first turn. He's in front by a length and a half from Stormy Samurai in second. El Bellator is on the outside in a good stocking position. Unraptured is next in the fourth spot. He races alongside of McKinnon. McKinnon. So after the slow getaway, or an undesirable one, he's running in the fourth position with Unraptured. They're both three lengths off the pace setter, Nuestro and Greedo. A space of two to Black Adder. Boise is next. Delmo is parked outside of him. Meet me at the club with two runners wedged between horses now. Dr. Piscato inside and a three deep come on man at the back of the pack. About ten lengths covers the entire field with five furlongs to go. And Nuestro and Greedo, he strings them out. Leads by a length and a half from Stormy Samurai in a good position. He's running in second. The same can be said for McKinnon. He continues to make up ground into the third position down the back side, down on the fence with Abel Cedillo. Il Bellator races outside of him. A length and a half to Unraptured. He's a clear fifth, now sent along a little bit as they hit the far turn run. Black Adder patiently ridden at the rail. Boise's advanced to position as they round the far turn. There goes Delmo from the back of the pack. He catches the eye and he's making a sweeping run. Delmo as they round the turn. Coming back up top, Nuestro and Greedo has company from McKinnon now. And Il Bellator is right there as they come to the top of the stretch. It's wide open. Delmo, McKinnon making up good ground on the outside. Inside Nuestro and Greedo's fighting, but McKinnon has hit the lead inside the furlong pole. It's McKinnon and Abel Cedillo. Black Adder coming out of the pack. Mannequin 1 2. Black Adder on the inside. Black Adder, McKinnon, and it's going to be Black Adder. And Edwin Maldonado with a nice ride there to win the El Camino Real Derby. McKinnon second best. Delmo was third, then Il Bellator, and come on, man, fifth. Delmo and the Risen Star Stakes. Uh, there's Pioneer of Medina, who strikes out. Epicenter flashing that speed as Papa Cap with a green cap holds the rail. And here's Bodoc with an early bid, and Slow Down Andy is near the front as they charge into the clubhouse turn. It's Epicenter. So it's Epicenter who just leads Pioneer of Medina and Bodoc. Black and gold chevrons, three wide with seven furlongs to run, and Papa Cap holds the rail. Russian tank is fifth, slow down Andy in sixth as they go to the back of the track. Its saving ground is Tony Port. Outside that is Smile Happy making this backstretch run. We trail back then to Zandon and Trafalgar Trails. The opening quarter, 23.79 seconds at the five and a half. It's Epicenter for Joel Rosario. Epicenter generates the pace in front of Pioneer of Medina. With Papa Cap, a ground saving third, Bodoc is fourth for this run to the half mile pole. Russian Tank in fifth. The outside slowdown, Andy is sixth. Smile Happy 
looking to gain ground for Corey Lannery in behind the horses as they left the half mile pole behind then Tony Port, Sandin and Trafalgar remains last half mile for Epicenter 47.97 seconds they round the far turn it's Epicenter's lead in front of Pioneer of Medina with it the inside Papa Cap as they come toward the top of the stretch slow Dan Andy on the far outside Bodoc and Sandin starts one wind Sandin coming with a wide bid for Jose Ortiz as they straighten past the quarter pole Three quarters in one minute 12, but 25 seconds, it's Epicenter. Coming down to this final, Fairgrounds Furlong, Epicenter, looking to finish them off. Number charging Zandon, Pioneer of Medina between horses. Smile Happy runs on toward the rail, but they're close to home, and it's Epicenter. Epicenter for Joel Rosario. Epicenter, decisively, in the Risen Star Stakes. Smile Happy was second. They are at the post. And they are racing in the 40th running of the Bataglia. And it is La Beliza Negra who's flashing speed. A race will press to the outside. And from the high draw, Grail comes up to make it three to line into the run of the first turn. Bloodline away in the fourth position as they work into the opening turn. Up the inside, Golden Eye keen to go on there, tugging hard against the jock. Advancing from between horses, stolen base covered up to the outside by Tiz the Bomb. Dropping trees, the gray is next. And a link for the back to the inside, Ridge Strike. And at the back of the pack on thin ice is last. They say, turn up the backside. They're going at a pretty good clip, about 12, 13 links top to bottom. Them. There's the quarter, 23 and 4. In a race, has cleared off by two and a half to La Beliza Negra. He'll track him from second. Grail tracks from third, about three and a half off the pace. From between horses as they head up the backside, it is Bloodline. To the inside, Golden Eye is fifth. Legendary Lore is sixth, and about four and a half off the pace. Tis the Bomb is next. Then comes Stolen Base, trying to pick his way through the pack. It's the gray drop and G's as they head in the far turn, half mile, 48 seconds flat. And it's still a race. The lead is down to a Lake. La Beliza Negra is second. Grail is three deep from third. A bloodline saving every yard from fourth. Tis the bomb is underway. He's fourth, but three and a half off the pace end. Stolen base is starting to wind up. He's up into fifth as they race around the turn. Three quarters, one twelve and two. And here comes Tis the bomb. Up and after pace setting the race. And behind horses, stolen base just a waiting room. And now there's a seam for stolen base. He punches on through as they reach the top of the stretch with a furlong to go. And Tis is the bomb coming after the pace hitter with a 16th to go. Stolen base, he's loose and charging. It's Tis the bomb. Here comes Stolen base. Tis the bomb. Stolen base and a funnel with the Bataglia. Tis the bomb back to his winning ways, holding off Stolen base in 144 flat. The Lerons and the phasing Tipton Fountain of View Stakes. Emmanuel was off in traffic and then was shuffled back a touch. Good start at the inside for Mark Hamian, and he's put right on the early lead. Fellow long shot, Dean delivers, moves to him in second, and AP Secret is a joint third. In due time, gets great position for Paco, third at the rail, followed by Simplification. He was off in traffic again today. High Oak is three wide. Howling time works between horses, and Emmanuel, the favorite, is four wide, racing ahead of Rattle and Roll and Galt, and O Captain is at the back. 23 and 4 for the opening quarter as they race into the backstretch. Marcos Manessis and long shot Mark Hamian on top by a length and a quarter. Dean delivers his second. High Oak is four wide. AP Secret is three wide. Five wide for Emmanuel. Certainly not optimum there. Saving ground inside is in due time. At the rail, rattle and roll has good position if good enough. A length better than howling time. Out the back are Galt and O Captain. The entire field separated by seven lengths in the run past the half mile point. 48 and 1 for a half mile speed on the far outside. Saez is on the go now. Emmanuel has to give up a ton of ground. He's challenging for the lead. Dean delivers, puts the neck in front. Mark Hamian is next. AP Secret, High Oak. Now Simplification given a run. Simplification's even wider than Emmanuel. Looking for room is in due time as they run to the top of the stretch. Emmanuel now takes a narrow lead, fighting on. Dean delivers in due time. Oh, that was High Oak who clipped heels. High Oak clipped heels and unseated Galt with him as Simplification sweeps up out wide. Simplification is now taking the lead in the Fountain of Youth. Dean delivers his so game. He's trying to hold on for second down the center in due time. Emmanuel between. Simplification for Antonio Sano win the Fountain of Youth. Second was in due time. Up third at a huge price with Zoe Captain. There's a stewards inquiry looking at the run to the top of the stretch. We have two riders unseated. Jockey Junior Alvarado is sitting up. And it appears that both horses are up and okay. And we are set for the start of the Grade 3 Gotham. 
and they're off. A bit of a bobble there for number 10, Rockefeller from the outside from another mother and Dean's list. And on the outside, Morello is there along with Rockefeller. And then it is Golden Code down towards the rail running in fifth. Life is Great is next in sixth. Followed by Running Son of a Gun in seventh. Then comes Bold Journey in eighth. Followed by a Glider and No Need to Worry is the trailer in tenth. As they race up the Big A backstretch. It is Dean's List, the leader here by a length. The favorite Morello on the outside in second with From Another Mother running in third. Running Son of a Gun is next in fourth and alongside is Golden Code. Life is Great is next in sixth. Rockefeller is in seventh. Then comes Glider who's down at the rail followed by No Need to Worry and Bold Journey. The quarter went in 23 and two. The half mile in 47 and three. Dean's List continues to show the way here. It's Dean's List by three quarters of a length. Morello is right there on the outside in second with Golden Code and running son of a gun heads apart third and fourth. Life is great gaining ground on the outside from another mother is back running in sixth and glider is seventh followed by bold journey in eighth rockefeller has dropped back to last they are at the top of the stretch three quarters went in 113 here is morello to move right alongside of dean's list dean's list takes down at the rail morello on the outside and morello is now in front dean's list is back running in second then it is golden code and life is great morello is drawing away here in the stretch and the three old will stay undefeated he's three for three and he wins the grade three gotham by more than four lengths dean's list was second and a photo for third and the time was one minute 39 and one fifth seconds and they're off in the san felipe beautiful art hopped in the air Happy Jack is sent out of there. Forbidden Kingdom sprints quickly, and Armagnac, the pace hot and heavy early on. Doppelganger is fourth on the inside of Cabo Spirit. Worse, Reed Sanchez, and Beautiful Art is at the back of the field. Forbidden Kingdom will set the pace, and he has it by two lengths. Armagnac clearly into second, and then Happy Jack back to third, about four and a half off the leader. It's another three back to Cabo Spirit, racing on the outside of Doppelganger. Worst Reed Sanchez, second to last, and beautiful Art at the back of the field. Forbidden Kingdom really rolling on the front end. Has it by three lengths. Armagnac second, now a gap of seven or eight. Back to Happy Jack. There's room at the rail for Doppelganger who starts to advance and Cabo Spirit outside of that pair. Another four lengths to Worst Reed Sanchez and beautiful Art has trailed throughout. Three eighths of a mile to go in the San Felipe. And it's Forbidden Kingdom who has opened up a nine-length lead. Doppelganger now comes after him in second. Armagnac a softened up third as they round the turn. And it's Forbidden Kingdom still with a commanding lead. Doppelganger will try to catch him in the final quarter of a mile. Cabo Spirit racing on the outside of Happy Jack. They turn for home. And Forbidden Kingdom still strong on the front end. A seven-length advantage. Doppelganger is clearly second, but it is Forbidden Kingdom. A stellar display. Six-length lead past the 16th pole. And what a performance from Forbidden Kingdom under Juan Hernandez in the San Felipe. They win by more than five. Doppelganger second. Happy Jack was third. Beautiful art finish for it. This is on the Lamb Home South Tampa Bay Derby. Once again, Classic Causeway caught a flyer and goes right to the front. Grantham away in the second spot here. Ship Sational up on the outside. Giant Game is close up early on as well. His trademark off the pace again is fifth as they go into that first turn. It is Classic Causeway to lead him. Grantham trying to slip through down along the inside. Giant Game trademark there in that second flight as well. Ship Sational now back in that sixth position. It's a length and a half more then. Back to Golden Glider races mid-pack. Belgrade's right outside of that one. Three more back to Major General is pushed along in the early going. Then comes Happy Boy Rocket. And Spin Wheel is at the back as they spin onto the back stretch. 23 and 3. Classic Causeway once again unopposed. Classic Causeway just a length and a half in front of Giant Game. Grant them down toward the inside. Shipstational trademark. Now four of them lining up in behind this favored leader up front as they run past the four and a half. It's two more then back to Belgrade. Happy Boy Rocket tries to move up outside of Golden Glider. Major General still being shoved upon. Is being passed at the back now by Spin Wheel. 48 seconds flat for that opening half mile. Classic Causeway to the far turn. A host of challengers just in behind. Grantham down toward the inside. Here's Shipsational. 
Shipsational starting to launch up on the outside, draws within three quarters of a length. Trademark in amongst horses with Giant Gabe. Belgrade is trying to wind up on the outside. Happy Boy Rocket pushed along. Classic Causeway continues to cruise to the quarter pole. A length and a half in front. Shipsational on the outside. Trademark looking for room just in behind with Grantham as Classic Causeway comes to the top of the lane in front. It's Classic Causeway off the turn. Grantham still battling away. Trademark in between horses. Iran Ortiz says go with Classic Causeway. They lead it past the furlong pole. Grantham is second. Shipsational trademark. Golden Glider late on the seat. It's Classic Causeway still in front. Classic Causeway inside the final 16th. The sun shines bright on Classic Causeway who wins the Tampa Bay Derby by two. Grantham looked to hold second over Shipsational. Photo there for fourth and fifth. And they're off. And the Twinspires.com, Louisiana Derby. And Zozo Sproke Sharp, Curly Tail, Epicenter, and there's Pioneer of Medina as they make their way toward the clubhouse turn. It's Zozo's. So Zozo leans at the inside for Florent Giroux with Pioneer of Medina second and close up. Epicenter in third with Capona in fourth. Gold on the outside in fifth. Curly Tail is sixth as they round the clubhouse turn. Ronald LaRoll in seventh. Long odds, Silent Power is second to last with James Graham. Will the cup winner, Call Me Midnight, settles in last position. It's Zozo's. So Zozo leads Pioneer of Medina by three quarters of length. They have six for Longs to run. Joao Rosario and Epicenter. Nicely settled toward the inside, running in third for this run to the half-mile pole, Copona in fourth. Galt is fifth. Sprinkler two more then to rattle and roll, followed toward the inside by Curly Tail. The trailers remain silent power and finally call me midnight. The opening quarter was 23.27 seconds, half-mile 47.35 seconds. They have a half-mile to run in the Louisiana Derby. And it's Sozo, so continues to lead at tracking Pioneer of Medina with Epicenter right there tucked in toward the rail. Capuna being asked to pick up now with three furlongs to go. Then through the inside is Galt. Rattle and roll is still some eight legs off these leaders as Zozos continues to just stand. Pioneer of Medina, followed by Call Me Midnight, who's now getting on the extreme outside. Curly Tail and Silent Power is last. Zozos, Pioneer of Medina, and here's a sweeping epicenter who's building momentum. Three quarters, one minute, 11. 0.69 seconds. Epicenter has taken the lead from the inside. Zozos, then Pioneer of Medina, and Call Me Midnight. Coming past the 16th, it's Epicenter, who's kicked away now from Zozos. Pioneer of Medina will be third best. Epicenter wins the Louisiana Derby. Zozos was second. Pioneer of Medina third. Then rattle and roll with Galt and Call Me Midnight. Epicenter, Joao Rosario, for Steve Asmussen, they cap off a five-win Fairgrounds Day in track record time of 154.38. Up and running in the Sunland Derby. Bit of a tangle beginning there for Straight Up G, but he's rolling now along with the favorite Slow Down Andy. Could be a quick tempo set up front as Classic Moment races comfortably third. Bye bye Bobby, rating kindly at the moment. He's in four, trailing by six to his outside. Pepper Spray going fairly well. Chrome King is two legs behind those, followed by Fowler Blue. And Costa Terra is at the back, trailing by 12 lengths. It's a pretty spirited tempo set up front by Straight Up G, who's got the lead by about a head. Slow down, Andy is giving him no peace to the inside, but Straight Up G begins to lengthen, and he has about a three parts of a length lead over Slow Down Andy into the back stretch. Setting up nicely, though, for Bye Bye Bobby, whose four links is stern in third, and he is coming. Watch out for Chrome King, also advancing, putting away Classic Moment temporarily. Pepper Stray. Trails by seven lengths, and it's Fowler Blue, and still trailing Costa Terra. They're midway through the Sunland Derby with less than a half mile to go. Slow down, Andy makes his advance, trying to break the will of Straight Up G, and it's slowed down, Andy. Now taking a comfortable lead, a confident one too, and slow down Andy, leads over straight up G, and now the main danger is Bye Bye Bobby, who's lifting his strides, Bye Bye Bobby, showing belief, Bye Bye Bobby on the outside, with a slingshot bow, begins to take over, it's Bye Bye Bobby on the outside of slow down Andy, who hasn't given up, these two are separated by plenty of distance into the stretch, Bye Bye Bobby has a bit more, and it's going to be Bye Bye Bobby. Slow down Andy, resilient. Slow down Andy, came back heroically 
to win the Sunland Derby and a chance at the Kentucky Derby. And they're off in the Florida Derby. Excellent beginning for Classic Causeway from down toward the inside. Simplification was way out way in good shape today, and he's up to challenge from second. Papa Cap gets away in third. Wide around the first turn is White Abario. The race favorite charges drops in mid-flight. He's about four lengths behind. Then it's O Captain racing ahead of Clapton and King of Truth. Cajun's Magic is third last. Steel Sunshine is second last. And 11th and last to strike hard as they chase the Tampa Bay Derby winner Classic Causeway to the backstretch run. Classic Causeway, relaxed up front, he leads a half a length. Simplification will not let him get far second, three wide, pop a cap third. Luis Saez has charge it fourth at the rail. He's racing together with the gray, white of Mario. A gap of another two to Clapton, who's outside of O'Captain. Then it's a length and a half to Cajun's Magic. King of Truth and Steel Sunshine race together about 10 lengths off the pace, and still at the back is Strike Hard. The opening quarter was 23 and 3. The half mile was 47 and 1. Half a mile to go in the 2022 Curlin Florida Derby. We have a new leader. Simplification has powered past Classic Causeway, who backpedals. Papa Cap looms a threat on the outside. White Abario takes third. Up to fourth is Chargent. Dropping back is Classic Causeway, then Clapton and O Captain as they run to the top of the stretch. Up front, Papa Cap doing battle with Simplification. Three wide, White Abario. Chargent getting ready to launch his bid. He's three Three lengths off the lead, but gaining ground with a quarter of a mile left to go. Now at the top of the stretch, simplification, bracing for an oncoming white of Barrio. Papa Cap is very game between horses, and charge it swings into action on the far outside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. White of Barrio takes over from simplification. Charge it with a late say down the center. 16th to run. White of Barrio almost home. Charge it shifts ground. White of Barrio still there, and white of Barrio wins the Florida Derby for Safi Joseph Jr. From charge it in second, and simplification third. Papa Cap ran fourth. The time for the race, a minute 50 and three. They're off. Good start. Kavadin chasing time. A hard scent doppelganger. Cyberknife is in the mix. And we the people could be five wide at the clubhouse turn. Flavian Pratt will not have any of that. He's going to take him back and drop over. Then comes Barber Road, Secret Oath, and Unoho, and the early trailer is Ben Diesel. Around the clubhouse turn, it is Kavad. He's a length and a half in front of Chasing Time and Doppelganger. Doppelganger wanted the lead. He's done no better than third early. Two and a half to Cyberknife. Then comes We the People. Secret Oath is outside of him, and outside of her is Ben Diesel. Then a length to the Rebel winner, Unoho, and Barber Road is between horses. Only six lengths first to last. Up the back stretch in the 86th, Arkansas Derby, Kabad is the leader. He's five furlongs from the wire and leads. Here's an early move from Cyberknife. He's going to split horses and be a joint second outside, inside of chasing time. Doppelganger is four deep, and he's two from the front. Secret Oath is last, leaving the back stretch. Then comes Un Ojo. They round the far turn and Kavad has the lead but Cyberknife is right alongside. Now Secret Oath is unwinding. She's just gone from last up into third and look at this move from Secret Oath. She's within two of the lead. There's a quarter of a mile to run in the Arkansas Derby. Cyberknife has put away Kavad but he has to deal with Secret Oath in the center. Then comes Barber Road. A final furlong. Cyberknife here comes Secret Oath on the outside. She's still two legs behind. Cyberknife, Secret Oath is not going to get by. The Arkansas Derby winner, and his name is Cyberknife in front. Cyberknife won. Barber Road got into second. Secret Oath was third. Maybe Doppelganger for fourth. Locked up. They are at the post. And they are racing it. In the 51st running up, the Jeff Ruby Stakes. Good beginning for all. Quick start from the outside for swing shift. Also, great escape is flashing speed. And from between those two, as expected, Dallas Jack Chief is for the place. Tawny Port came away racing in the fourth position. Cabo Spirit is fifth early. Tis the bomb. Hovers to the outside of that one in six as they take on the first turn. Stolen base from between horses towards his inside is Royal Spirit. A link for the back to Red Run, who's about two or three in front of Constitutional Lawyer. And Rich Strike is last of them all. 
They work around the turn with six furlongs to go. The first quarter of the Ruby was 23 and one. The leader, Dalla Jack Cheap, just from swing shift. Down on the inside, great escape is third as they continue to run up the backside. Deep on the course, there goes Tis the Bomb to engage from the extreme outside. It is Tawny Port. In between horses, sandwiches, Optigogo down along the inside. Royal Spirit is next, a half mile, 47 seconds flat. The leader still, Dalla Jack Chief and James Graham show the way a length and a half to swing shed. From between horses, Cabo Spirit to the inside. There goes Tiz the Bomb, who blasts up to the outside of Tawny Port. Those two moving together as a half mile, 47 seconds flat, just outside. A quarter to go here in the Ruby, three quarters, 11 in one, and they stack up three deep, and Tawny Port comes calling for the lead. Dalla Jack Chief is being implored for some speed. Tis the bomb to the outside in third, and Stolen Base has kicked it into gear. He's gonna kick wide for the drive, top of the home stretch of the Jeff Ruby. And Tis the bomb, forging to the front. Tawny Port under a full out drive to the inside in second. Up the inside, still fighting on Dalla Jack Chief, late on the seat, down the center, comes Opti Go Go, 116 to go. Tis the bomb is still there. Tis the bomb indeed. Winch wrapped up the end by almost two and a half. Tawny Port was second. The running time for Tis the bomb, 148 and three. And Tis the bomb, a perfect two for two on the synthetic as he sizzles in the Ruby. A five star performance from Tis the bomb for Brian Hernandez, Magdalena Racing, and Kenny McPeak. And we are set for the Wood Memorial. And they're off, and it was a hesitant beginning for number five, Morello, who was last in the early going. Early voting is out for the early lead. AP Secrets on the outside, and down at the rail, it is a golden code. Steadying there just a bit with Skippy Longstocking as they go around the clubhouse. Turn to his outside is Baris. Then it's a break of two and a half lengths to a long term who races in sixth. Mo Donegal is down at the rail in seventh, and Morello is the trailer in eighth as the and four fifth seconds and it is early voting setting the pace here and leading by a half length ap secret keeping up the pressure on the outside and second and then it is baris and golden code the two of them are third and fourth the two new york breads are third and fourth then two and a half lengths back to skippy long stocking mo donegal is down at the rail long term is coming on through and morello continues to trail right now about seven lengths from the lead the half was running 47 and three and it is early voting on top as they go around the far turn early voting three quarters of a length ap secret is in second baris is next in third Skippy Longstocking runs in fourth, and now Mo Donegal begins to pick it up. Mo Donegal is gaining ground towards the inside. Morello is now up to sixth, but with an awful lot to do as they hit the top of the stretch. Three quarters went in 111 and two. It is early voting, trying to take them wire to wire here. Early voting in front. Mo Donegal comes on through down on the inside to grab second. It is early voting in front. A challenge here from Mo Donegal. Early voting, trying to hold on with a 16th of the finish. Mo. Donegal bearing down on the outside. It's Mo Donegal and early voting, and it is Mo Donegal. Mo Donegal won the Remsen here as a two-year-old, and he comes back to win today's 97th running of the Wood Memorial. And they're off in the great one, Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. And there goes Volcanic, and there goes Emmanuel out for the lead. Emmanuel now moves forward and takes the advantage. Golden Glider will go second. Volcanic is third down toward the inside. Ethereal Road comes away running in fourth. Smile Happy is going to be wide in fifth. Around the first turn, Fenwick is sixth back toward the inside. Trademark is seventh there. In between horses, Zandon in close quarters between horses as well. In the eighth spot, heading off the first turn. Black Adder ninth on his outside. Command Performance is in tenth. And Rattle and Roll is last of the 11 after an opening quarter in 24.04 seconds. Emmanuel, the leader. Emmanuel leads it by three quarters of a length. And then Golden Glider, second three quarters of a length. Smile Happy is third up on the outside. Volcanic, a lane off the rail in fourth. Fenwick moves by to his inside, takes over fourth by just ahead. And then Trademark, who's three lanes off the rail in the fifth position. Ethereal Road is in sixth. Black Adder's a wide seventh. And then Command Performance comes next onto the far turn. Zandon in behind horses, eight lengths off the lead, has rattle and roll to his outside. It was 48.39 seconds for the opening half mile. Emmanuel, the leader, onto the final. 
final turn. Emmanuel by just a length. Golden Glider second three quarters of a length. Smile Happy is right there. Third up on the outside as they round the turn. And then comes Trademark in fourth. Rattle and roll. Angles to the far outside fifth. Still nine lengths off the lead. Just outside of Ethereal Road. Moving by the quarter pole. Emmanuel the leader. Smile Happy now takes aim from the outside. Here's Smile Happy to take the lead from Emmanuel into the final furlong. And Zandon is running late. Zandon has moved through all kinds of traffic from the back of the pack. And he is now taking command in deep stretch. It's over. Zandon wins the Toyota Bluegrass with a dramatic stretch run for Flavian Pratt. Smile Happy had to settle for second. One minute, 50.35 seconds. And they're off in the run happy Santa Anita Derby. Forbidden Kingdom flashes his speed right out of the gate. And Taba came away in good order second. Messier third through the opening furlong. And Armagnac is fourth about four lengths off the pace. Then Happy Jack and win the day is at the back of the field. Forbidden Kingdom goes a bit wide into the first turn, and Messier moves right into second. The favorites are 1-2 as they head to the six furlong pole. Two more back to Taba in third. Then it's Armagnac, fourth, five lengths off the leader. Happy Jack is next, win the day far back. Field heads to the 5 8 pole, chasing Forbidden Kingdom, who's cruising along. He's in front by a length and a half. Messier getting a little bit closer in second. It's three more back to Taba by himself in third. And Armagnac is fourth now, six lengths off the lead. Big gap to Happy Jack and win the day. They're heading to the 3 8 pole in the run happy Santa Anita Derby. And Forbidden Kingdom has been the controlling speed. Messier moving in now within a half length. Taba has just two to make up as they come toward the quarter pole. Armagnac fourth and Messier has taken the lead at the quarter pole and quickly pulls away from Forbidden Kingdom. Taba running a giant race on the outside, three sixteenths of a mile to run. And it's Messier and Taba one two. Forbidden Kingdom five behind inside the eighth pole. Messier, Taba running lights out on the outside. And here's Taba getting the upper hand in the final stages. The run happy Santa Anita Derby goes to 